What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at my favorite AD carry at the moment, Ezreal. Um, just for the fact that he has so much mobility with 40% cooldown and playing blue as is so much fun. So just to get right into it, for the runes, 3 quints of attack speed, 9 seals of armor, marks of AD, and um, 5 glyphs of standard magic resist and then 4 of scaling. Um, and your masteries, just the standard 21 and 9. Um, these masteries are, are 80 carry masteries for every 80 carry. I've seen people use cooldown reduction glyphs, but I don't like that because the items we're building, you'll be able to get the 40% anyway, or at least close to 35. But you can dump 5% cooldown reduction into your masteries if you feel it's appropriate. So anyway, these are sort of the standard kind of 80 carry type items. Not necessarily this build all the time, but this is definitely not blue as. This is just standard AD carry Ezreal, and this is not what we're going to be doing. This is more of like the the safer route. Um, I wouldn't even be build Trinity if I was going the safer route. Well, maybe I would, but that's kind of an expensive build, and if you mess up building Trinity, you're kind of fucked for the rest of the game. So, I kind of um, did a dickish thing here. Um, they called... Well, they did. We were playing draft, and the, I had the top spot. And I picked AD carry. They didn't care. They were a duo, so they went anyway. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'll do as mid. I've seen people do it. Um, and this was actually my first attempt, which is kind of scary going mid because mid is like the home of AP burst mages. Excuse that shitty skill shot. Is like the home of AP burst mages, which is a scary place for an AD carry. So anyway, you just want to stay safe and you want to be once you're able to get your sheen from your trinity force and your tier of the goddess. I believe that's what it's called, Tear of the Goddess. I'm going to sound stupid if that's from, like, God of War or something. Um, Seriously, I, I don't remember the name. But um, that, that's 1,200 gold plus 720. So it's around 1,800, 1,900, whatever, one of the two. Um, I know, very professional. And once that means is, is once you, what, what that means is once you get your tier, it's kind of weird if you've never built a tier because once you get it, you use abilities and it grants you mana. And then once you have enough of that, you can build into another item, and it's your, called your Mura Mana. So see right here, I get my Sheen in my tier, and you see what this does is, it allows me to get a ton of mana, and it also grants a ton of AD, a ton of mana, and mana regen, and it makes your attacks on, on hit do so much damage, and your spells. So the thing is, you toggle this item, right? I ha always have it on 5, just because that's where my finger rests from R. And you toggle it, and instantly you're bursting like crazy. And I'm going to show that off right here in a second. But the pros about Blue Ez is that he's not limited to what other standard 80 carries are. And they have to stand in the back and just shoot and they have to wait for someone to peel for them. He has self-peel. Um, he hits like crazy. He hits really hard. So see that new item in the 5 spot right there? That's what the tier will turn into. And there we go. There's Muramana. So now you can just toggle it on and off with 5 and you do crazy amounts of damage. Plus, for Blue Ezreal, you want a ton of mana. And that's what it does. That's what it brings to the table. So, Nar kind of goes in all crazy there, which was kind of weird. And you don't have to be too careful on Ezreal, like I said. You can go in like I'm doing right there. He gets an awesome ult off. I did like that. And see, that's what I'm talking about with the self-peel. Bam! Allows me to get to get a double kill. Um, a lot of people, I get into games and they're like, Dude, how'd you get your ult off if I tried stunning you? And it's actually a channel. It's not a cast on command. So if you channel it, it can't be interrupted. It'll take a while, but it can't be interrupted, which is really cool. I like that as well. So right here, we're starting to siege this tower. And Ezreal in, in team fights combined with another AD carry is kind of a scary proposition, man, because you have double damage, you have Tank Leona in the front line, and you have Meganar giving them right to you. But Jan is pretty much the ultimate self-peeler um, and team peeler. Lee dives in, gets killed, and I miss my ult on Janna. But it doesn't matter because me and Kate are in the back just dealing tons of DPS. I have a good support here. She used the shield on me. Which allows me to live, get a double kill, and get out. And we end up killing this Brandon in a second. Overall, pretty successful team fight. So this build for Ezreal, full build is going to be Ionian Boots of Lucidity for cooldown reduction. Trinity Force is amazing. Trinity Force is good on any champion, pretty much. Um, it's just expensive, <laughs> these ults. And then you want your Last Whisper for Extreme Armor Pen. Um, Extreme Armor Pen. I just meant Armor Pen. I meant Murrah Mana for just Extreme Burst. Um, they really help. So see, the EQ combo. 
So, your Last Whisper for Armor Pen, Murder Mana for Mana and just Bursting Potential. And then you kind of, you can go into more bluish items. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build Essence Reaver, which grants you bonus AD on hit, and it grants a ton of attack damage and lifesteal. And then I go into Blade of the Ruin King, and I mean, just the active on Blade of the Ruin King um, is amazing. It helps to peel, it helps to slow down enemies, it also deals magic damage. And the other passive on it, which grants um, percent health damage, which is like a hyper carry stat, um, even though Ez isn't a hyper carry. Um, he's extremely powerful mid to late game. He, this Trist was having problems dealing with Blue Ez, um, even, you know, 10 minutes later into the game. So that's kind of amazing. See, there you go. There's the channel right there. And I'm such an idiot, dude. I get so cocky, and I'm like, you know what? I can take these guys down. Meanwhile, I don't have my Bork. I'm trying to lifesteal off of a ward, and I'm like, okay, I can take this Rengar. Oh, wait, I'm by a bush. I get so cocky when playing Ez sometimes. I mean, that's kind of like my fault. It's totally my fault because I, I just start playing stupid when you get in the lead. Um, that's something that I really have to work on personally. Anyway, a dumb ult. I ult uh, uh, ulting Janna, you know, and Rengar comes in, jumps right off. He's going for me and Kate, obviously, because we are the 80 carries. And to be honest with you, see how Leona's in the front there just tanking everything? She's doing a perfect job. Like, this wouldn't even be possible without a tank Leona. And I can just get this Rengar and just peel him off of me. Thanks to Leona once again with Exhaust. Um, a lot of this depends on having a good support. You know, like, I couldn't even do half the things here without Leona. But, I mean, there it is. There's the full build. I also, I also use Alacrity because you don't need Fury. You get that from Trinity Force. And um, there you go. Blue Ez.